Welcome back, everybody. You're watching Sport Federation TV. It's nice to have you here. Right, so if you've watched the show before, you'll, of course, know that uh, uh, Western Cape, or handball, is one of our big sports in, well, globally, it's a big sport, in, in fact, and it's been more on the map now after the Olympics. Uh, Kura Shizema is uh, back on the line with us. He's uh, president of Western Cape Handball. Kura, welcome back. How are you? Um, I'm all happy. Um, how are you doing yourself? Not too bad, not too bad. We're happy to see there the sport go. is back and we're happy to see that you guys are, are active and uh, enjoying sport again. Um, yes, JP. We are actually dreadful for the coming three months. We've got a packed calendar um, from, from, from our local events to, to, the internet, to, to the national events as well, including the international events as well. Tell me a little bit about some of the events that are coming up. Or let's go back. Uh, let's go back a few months, uh, Kuda, before we talk about what's coming up. Have you have you managed to get back now after the school holidays and the university holidays? Are the athletes back? Are the coaches back? Um, yes, uh, the the athletes and the coaches are back, um, and it's like they're they're all in full swing now because we they're they're mostly um, um, getting ready for the for the upcoming um, 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 season. It's uh, kickstarting um, on the 23rd of, of April. So most teams are, are ready. Um, I should say all teams are ready for, uh, for the start of the league. Tell me what happens on the 23rd of April. That's the first game of our, of our season. That's first when game? our season kicks up. Is yes. that your league, your league system? Yes, that's our league system. How many the is it clubs yeah. playing that or districts? How does that work? All right, so so we it, it's going to be clubs um, playing from 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 all over. So each club has a chance to to to, to host um, right. a game. Yeah. It, it, it's it's going to be in a, a home and away um, structure where each club uh, has got an opportunity to host and also go and play away. You got an idea who the top uh, who the challenges are going to be? Are there some clubs that are raising their hand to say we're going to to make our voices heard? Yeah, we've got for the for the girls. Obviously, we've got our our champions from last year, Cape Star Zembo Club, and um, Thunderbolts are very very close. They, they so Thunderbolts and Cape Star, Cape Stars for the women are there to watch. Then for the men, we have Guguletu as the as a as the current champions, and uh, Thunderbolts and Cape Stars are really going to cause some some they're going to cause some problems for Guguletu because all the teams are up there, and yeah going to be really competitive. Do you think that um, the, the handball on TV that we've seen, the Olympics, have they been, what, did they watch that? Have they, or did that inspire them? It does. It does inspire them. Um, we've, been, we've been growing in, in stature and, and in our um, development game as well. You know, from, from where we were 10 years ago and where we are today, we are part of the modern game. We believe we we are not yet at that European level where we would want our clubs to be or our players to be. But at the level that we are at now, we are not far off. Um, could I, how are we doing as Western Cape Handball? Uh, what comes next after this? Do the athletes compete against each other provincially or interprovincially? Yeah, so what's exciting is we have... We have um, um, tend our focus also on the juniors. Remember, for the past two years, because of COVID, we were just dealing with seniors. But we have turned our focus on juniors. So um, in the coming month of May, we are starting with um, uh, the, the junior championships at the Beach Handball Championships for under 14, and um, followed up by the under 15 um, indoor championships as well for the, for the province. Does the beach handball championships look similar to beach volleyball? They do in terms of how they weigh, how they present themselves, because it's always a matter of them providing a show. We, when we talk of beach sports, it's always providing a show to the audience. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they do look quite similar, and the rules are like half different from what you see in indoor. There's a, quite a lot of things that differ when you come to to, to, to outdoor, for example, you will have contact in indoor. You don't have contact in 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 beach, in beach handball. So there is quite a lot of things that differ the same as they do in beach volleyball. You've got the difference in indoor volleyball and the difference in in, in, beach, in beach volleyball itself. So yeah, the concepts do 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 run along. And 
could a, how did the age groups work? You mentioned earlier on about juniors playing handball, and of course we know that there are senior structures. Uh, how, how do the age levels work? And of course, we, we, I mean, I'm assuming you have a lot of uh, handball kids at school level. Um, we, we've been growing. We've been growing at, at school level. And um, we have under 14s. We have under 16s. We have under 12, actually. And we have under 14s. We have under 16s and under 18s. Um, all the, we, we're focusing on these age groups now because we every single year we have what we call an international handball challenge, an, an international handball federation challenge trophy that is held in southern africa so this in this trophy they focus on under 18 and under 20. so for us to get the right age groups growing going we need to focus on those age groups that they focus today as well so whoever is from is under 18 now if it's the women they have their challenge trophy next year so they fall into the under 20 uh, region the under 16 will fall into the under 18 um, uh, region next year and could I tell me from a provincial level, when, who are your big challenges when you, uh, when you guys play in the other provinces? Who are the other top dogs? We, we have the, the, the under-16s now, um, the under-18s now. Um, actually, the under-16s beach, beach, beach handball team from, from Bredesdorf in Overberg. Um, they are the right. team that won the, the national championships last year. So they are really a team to contend. Uh, they are really a team to, 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 to look to, to, to look um, a team that will cause problems actually. So we we do have a team as well from French Hook um, that will also pose a threat for the under 18. They always usually have a very good teams that come from there as well. So yeah, we are looking forward to those teams to to, to cause a bit of problems as well. Um, Kuro, I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, and we'll say to you guys, well done. Well done on getting back on the, back on the, on the park, in the court. Uh, we're looking forward to yeah, yeah. seeing where handball goes yeah. next. Yeah, so our, our port of call is, the first port of call after the league game is the Women's Championship. And where will that be? It's on the 30th. 30th I have April. missed that one. Okay, it's on Women's, the 30th of April. Western, is it the Western Cape Women's Handball Championships? Yes, yes, the Western Cape Women's uh, Handball Championships. Uh, the team there is um, based on gender uh, based violence. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah. We, we, it's going to be taking place at North South Hall in, um, here in Cape Town. North South Hall? Delft, Delft South Hall. Delft. So that's going to yes, be taking place yeah. at Delft South Hall um, on the 30th yes, of yes. April. That's at the end of the month. Yes. Western Cape Women's Handball Championships. Yes. And we have the West, uh, the National, the Youth, the, the National Youth Handball Championships being held here in, in the Western Cape as well from the 8th to the 11th of July. All right. I'm sure we're going so to that's, get that's, that's that's our major focus as well. Yeah. So we, we, our, our calendar is quite full from now to, to, to August. Could we leave it at that? We'll catch up again soon. Thank you very much, JP. There we go, folks. Kuda Shizema is the president of Western Cape Handball. They've got some fantastic events coming up. It's the start of the league this 23rd of April. Then, of course, the end of the month, on the 30th of April, it's the Western Cape Women's Handball Championships happening in the Delft um, Hall. And then, as he said, um, on the 8th to the 11th of July, it's the National Handball Championships happening here in the Western Cape. Western Cape Handball doing fantastic. Look at all these events, it really is great. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll carry on talking uh, sport in the province. Don't go away.